right here. So another, uh, let's see, happy Saturday to everyone following this journey here with uh, Concept Properties and Concept Legacy Fund. You have to excuse my speech, I have my retainers in. Um, let's see, this morning I'm headed out to uh, a different property actually. Uh, there was some uh, plumbing issues going on. So uh, what I ended up having to do was uh, make sure that we got someone out there to dig about five to seven feet deep to where the actual uh, a pipe ran and have another company, a uh, buddy of mine I had to call. Networking is very, very, very important in this business. Probably actually, sorry about that. Um, let's see, and have them come out to uh, install a second clean out and then call the city to uh, come out and do their piece as far as what's going on with uh, where the belly is, where the pipe is bellying. I think that's the right term, bellying. Where the pipe is bellying and what's gonna happen is they're going to uh, go and dig up the street. Big project, had to get Department of Transportation involved, get them to dig up the street so that way they could uh, go in, dig it up, and and pick up where it's where the belly is. Long story short, it's been a wild ride. Okay, um, it's been crazy trying to get it all done. We are almost almost at the finish line. Let's see if I can angle this properly. Sorry about that. Yeah. So we are almost at the finish line, and what's going to happen is. Uh, um, once they get all that done, once the digging is done, etc., everybody will be able to fix their piece and we can move on. So I'm super excited about getting this project done, but right now I'm actually headed out there so we can, uh, so I can show you what it looks like and what a seven foot hole looks like uh, being dug. Uh, things you can't control in real estate. <laughs> uh, when we actually set out to get this taken care of what was unique was the little itty bitty things that kept popping up uh, such as uh, charter had a internet and phone line in the way so the truck actually couldn't get down the tractor couldn't get down to do what they were supposed to do so I had to call charter to come out and uh, remove the line so of course they wanted about a three to four day delay on them actually coming out to do their part. Uh, so we had to get that escalated, call the right departments to let them know how severe the problem was and see if they can come out faster. Uh, we did end up getting it done uh, a little bit faster. So, um, so that was a good thing. Let's see what else on the agenda today. I'm gonna ride by the rehab that I've been doing a lot of videos for uh there on Paris Mountain and I'm gonna ride by there to go and take a peek at um, some more of the demo work that's going on over there um, and we're gonna see if they got the bulk of that trash out as you all have seen ton of trash in this property as a matter of fact um, I've never seen that much trash in a property um, I've seen a good bit, but this was definitely, I, I mean, as you guys can see, I, a lot of the trash piles were taller than me. Um, so uh, I'm going to get out there today. I'm going to take a look at how they're dealing with getting that trash out of there. It's only been a couple of days and they've been doing excellent so far. I know yesterday they started ripping a lot of the, uh, the wall down. I know this week I'm going to go through City View. I know this week. Uh, they'll be ripping, I'm sorry, today, uh, tomorrow, and trying to get everything done by Monday. They're going to rip out, go ahead and rip out that ceiling and different things like that. Um, a little rain today. Yeah. yeah. 